guys, it's Amaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today it is hashtag we need a home day. So, um, today we are doing hashtag we need a home, obviously, um, <laughs> as I just mentioned. And we have a family here who um, has reached out to me. Uh, in regards of you know fixing their house that they just newly had just bought um, it is a house in Oasis Springs as you can see right here um, I had a friend build it for me so uh, we can go ahead and give you know props to her for building me this house and uh, you know having making me be able to have this video today <laughs> for you guys um, so yeah I will go ahead and put her down in the description um, and her origin, so you guys can go show her some love, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get right on into this, so we have the family named the Wiles family, as you can see here, um, so they've, let's go ahead and just read what they said, so they said, hi Maya, we saw you on Sims HGTV, and we need your help on flipping our new home we bought, the property is sold for 19k, leaving ample amount of room for renovations, I have a loan for 100k, but if we could go lower than that, that would be amazing. I do like modern interiors and exteriors, and my daughter would like a room that is bright and colorful. Color, <laughs> color for what? Okay, that is bright and colorful and has room for her friends to come over. And my son is a gamer, so he loves to collect action figures and play Fortnite. So surprise us. All right. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and show you guys the house and um. I have already fixed it up for them, so the uh, the price of it did come down lower than 100k, so that is good for them. So that left them obviously like 19 ish thousand dollars, uh, well simoleons left uh, for them to like you know do whatever they please. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and just view the house um, in its all glory, okay of <laughs> of what it's what it looks like before I you know fixed it up and renovated it and made it look amazing for this family so let's go ahead and get right on into that okay guys here we are we are back this is the house that is called the trash house it was made by my friend uh, Josie Jim um, I did list her channel down in my description so you guys can go check her out and show her some love for helping me make this video today so this house right here uh, I was very, like, pleased with this house. Like, <laughs> I can't believe, like, she made this for me. And, like, just the way the aesthetic of the house looked, I literally, like, tried to, um, like, copy, copy the aesthetic. Like, you always want to keep, like, the aesthetic of the home. You don't want to, like, change it dramatically. But, like, I think I still kind of change it dramatically, but it still has that same characteristic of it like that slanted kind of roof right here that we see like the slanted kind of roof um i took away that window though that window is not there um but like the windows and stuff i changed those and made them like the base game um windows the modern ones you guys you guys will see um when we get to the renovation so let's just go ahead and cut the chit chat and go ahead and tour this house so let me go ahead and get the camera together, get this down, and let's go ahead and tour this. Um, I'm ready for this. So let's go ahead and get on in. Okay, so when we first come in, let's go ahead and kind of get the camera zoomed in a better angle. So when you first come in, you see like trash, dirt, uh, obviously dog footprints, like whoever lived here before must have had a dog and tracked in dirt a lot. Um, obviously didn't clean it up and obviously somebody must have either had floorboards in here and didn't finish it or they might have took the floorboard the floorboards up or something before they left I don't know who knows but yeah <laughs> this house is a total like disaster looking um, and then we get here at the front door so we have these uh, windows here with these ugly blinds on them <laughs> which we got rid of anyway and we have a bunch of like holes on the walls uh where somebody somebody had whoever lived here had the wallpaper um coming off possibly because the wallpaper looks very old and um old and just not distorted but like just 
old and just like not appealing like more like the 1970s maybe i don't know but yeah and then the kitchen is very old looking uh we did give the kitchen a lot of good upgrades this whole house got a whole upgrade basically guys like this inside is kind of like it's not modern at all it's very old and um like somebody probably had this house be very traditional on the inside um just judging by the furniture that's left here um because whoever was here must have took out their furniture and just like left um other furniture and probably had foldable chairs <laughs> as their seating i don't know who knows um but yeah we changed this house completely a lot like it's it looks different it's it's much better than what you're seeing now so let's go ahead and view the first door on this side um, so the first door on this side, let's get in there, is a, I think the master bedroom, I'm not so sure. Um, I think it's the master bedroom, um, cause it has ample amount of room in here, but like the floorboards are gone. Um, there's clothes on the floor. There's a dingy dresser. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of crack cracks in the wall and there's more wallpaper, uh, tearing and um it's just very sad in here and then we have like the scary panda on the um fruit kind of box there i don't know but yeah <laughs> whoever lived here lived here very kind of poor like i guess they just yeah they had a trash house and like putting intentions on the on the title of this house anyway trash house yeah <laughs> so I think we come right here and oh yeah it's another bedroom so this house did have two bedrooms um the outcome with the house that I had made uh like fix this house up has actually an extra bedroom and an extra bath which is a half bath so that's pretty good um so there's more you know tears in the wall there's two beds in here so obviously two kids lived in here maybe twins or maybe even just brother and sister or maybe even sister and bro uh, sister and sister or brother and brother i don't know i just know two kids lived here because there's two separate twin beds and um there's obviously another dingy dresser um there's lots of ample room in here uh but obviously you know i made space for two bedrooms uh, well three bedrooms i meant so yeah and then we go over here to the other door and this is the very like sad looking bathroom <laughs> um i think these wall uh like the tile wall is from parenthood yeah it is and we have like the base game mirror which looks very sad in here um we have this sink that's like built in like somebody probably built the sink in i don't know um and then here we have more dog prints, um, a freaking rug that's like up under the tub. That's weird. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, and then a toilet that's like stuffed over here in the corner. Um, not so, you know, not so necessary. I don't know. Like it's, yeah, I wouldn't want a toilet over there in the corner. I would be freaked out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think this is like the rest of the house. There's not really much else to show. As you can see, that there's no like backyard or anything. It's just a bunch of like dig uh, dingy kind of like plants and stuff, and a dead tree. Ooh, a dead tree out here, um, as you can see. And yeah, it's just overall just um, yeah, it's it's a fixer upper in itself. Okay, but I really had fun fixing up this place, and I hope you guys will have fun viewing this place and seeing how it all turned out and as for that guys i will go ahead and see you in the renovation okay so guys we are back <laughs> and um let me just go ahead and just give you like a little heads up <laughs> um somewhere in this video i think it's probably three no i think it's like eight minutes in um some of the footage gets lost <laughs> so technically not lost but like i mean in your case it's lost like it's missing but in my case it was i paused the game i didn't pause the game i paused the recording at like eight minutes in and then i came back in and and you know like started to finish what i was doing but then as i was finishing what i was doing and i already had did like you know laid out the inside and fixed around the rest of the house added some things um i noticed that 
my recorder was not unpaused. So, literally all that that I was doing had went missing, basically. So, it was unrecorded. So, as you can tell, on in eight minutes, it's going to just jump right on into, um, you know, as the, you know, like, everything's been fixed already. So, the only thing I was doing was, like, the inside of the house. So, sorry for you guys, but, um, yeah, that's, that's what happened. So, I couldn't really do anything about that, and I didn't want to start it all over, uh, because... I didn't want to, like, redo everything that I did, because it was just a lot, okay? But this house took me, I'd say, two hours. I can say two hours because um, <laughs> I was it was supposed to be two hours, but, like I said, I lost, like, at least 25 minutes of footage. So, yeah, that's pretty terrible, but, yeah. But it doesn't really matter, because um, I don't think you miss much anyway, I mean, I just added on, like, a few things that just didn't get recorded, but it's not really that bad. Um, you still see, like, the backyard and everything. You still see the inside and everything, so it's all, it's all good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so with this house, I can't see the, like, what what's going on now because I'm doing, like, a separate uh, audio recording because um, the video editing software that I use it doesn't let you see the video, so if I were to, like, see the video, I would have to export the video alone and then, uh, record the, you know, record this audio and then, like, have the video playing on the side so I can see the video and then record the audio, but that's just too much exporting and too much time, and I just don't have that time, because it's already almost one o'clock in the afternoon, and this video has to be up at four, so, yeah, we don't have that much time to be wasting. <laughs> All of my time needs to be into this video so we can export and get on, you know, get on with life. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, also, tomorrow is create a sim. So, I'm going to, like, I already have a, a video of me uh, creating, a, like, a, a household. Um, I had posted it to the gallery, like, a few days ago. Um, it's... I'm not going to tell you, because, I mean, if you haven't seen it on the gallery yet, like, good. <laughs> be surprised for tomorrow's video. Um, basically, all, all it's going to be is just, like, I create a sim on Thursdays, and I just give the sims, like, a backstory, or, like, the reason why I created them, and where they live, and just their, basically their backstory, their origin, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty much what I do for that day, so pretty excited for that, and yeah, <laughs> um, so this video is not going to be that long, well, the video, the whole thing is going to be just a little bit longer, but this, um, voiceover that I'm doing right here is going to be like 17 minutes, so yeah, be prepared, be ready, Amaya, this is going to be torture, because, <laughs> I mean, what other voiceover isn't torture, I mean, come on, <laughs> I don't even know where this is going, um, yeah, I wish I could see this, but, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and explain, um, even though I can't really see what I'm doing, but basically what I did was, I kind of just, because there was a lot of weird bump outs on the house, so I kind of just tried to mesh everything in, uh, so it can just look, it can look more ordinary than, like, out of the ordinary, like, there was just, like, boxes, like, on the side, and I was like, Mm, it's like sticking out oddly, so I try to just like mesh everything back in, um, but in the end, I still was able to add on um, a bat, like an extra bathroom and an extra bedroom, because obviously the family who has bought this home uh, obviously needed more bedroom space, uh, because, you know, she has a son and a daughter, so I wanted them to have like their own room, uh, I mean, that's what she asked for anyway, so gave them a, their own room, gave the mom her room, a bigger room than the one that was there before, and even, it even has a, uh, a door to the backyard area, so she can get there pretty easily going through there, and yeah, so, and then also the kitchen, I gave everything, uh, upgrades, so everything's modern, everything's new, everything's fresh, because everything in there with the house before, it was very old, and, uh, very, like, outdated, so I put in some new stuff that is, um, you know, more new and modern, like I said before, just re restating it, okay, <laughs> um, so I just put in everything just new and everything, and just made it more modern, because the mom did say that she likes 
modern interiors and exteriors. So this house was perfect for that kind of aesthetic because um, I felt like the intention of this house was modern. Uh, just the way like the outside of it was kind of like made but like the inside was more like older and outdated and it needed to be updated so that's probably why they got the house for a cheap price of 19k so it it can be a starter home but um i mean i guess if your sims if you were like having some kind of let's play uh like your sims are probably uh, playing as like poor or something like they went from poor to rich like you know like that let's play that people do I think it's like rags to riches if you wanted to do that you could have this house easily and then I guess as your sim gets money or whatever um, if you don't want to like uh, you know add on stuff to the house and fix it yourself you can just easily download this house and replace it with this one after your sim reaches a certain amount of money um, and like they can afford this because I think this house came out in total of I think like 86,000 86 87 88. I don't know. It's like it's around there. I just know that it's less than 90k. So Yeah, your sim would probably have to be a little a little wealthy a little bit <laughs> To uh, get this house or I mean you can use cheats I mean because I use cheats whenever I you know play my game and uh, I create like a new household to play in. I always use cheats because I hate having base game homes. I just like to build and furnish. So having a base game home and having it be like cheap, it doesn't even have to be base game. It's just like just having a cheap um, starter home is the word I'm trying to say. Uh, it's just not. It's just not ideal for me. Like I just don't like having a cheap starter home because it's hard to make them look good. Like with the budget that you have. So, yeah, I usually like to start out with nice, cute houses that I, that I had made that's probably like, I don't know, probably like 50000 maybe a little bit more than that. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's gameplay. It really doesn't matter because it takes, I mean, if you really look at it, depending on whatever career that your sims have, uh, making money kind of like takes a little long, um, especially when you have like bills to pay and... Um, like you, I don't know. Like I don't know how to explain it, but like if you get prom if you're not getting promotions, which is also kind of hard. Well, it's not really hard to get promotions in The Sims. It's actually not. Let me take that back. <laughs> because you can like sit on the computer and like have your Sims be on the computer and just like level up in their skills uh, to be able to move on up to the next promotion. Because if your Sims um, complete the tasks that are, you know, required to get that promotion for that job. If you complete the task before you go into work, you're going to get that promotion after the workday is over. So it's not hard, but I'm just saying, like, if your sim isn't getting promotions, then it's going to be a little harder. It's going to be, it's going to take longer for your sims to make a good enough quality amount of money to buy this house, I can say, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's just change that. Um... So I think we've already done past the part where I told you that um, in the like in the midst of you know like me fixing the outside, um, it had j just jumped right into like me already had fixed out the outside and I had already had the the floor plan laid out. Yeah, so we've already done past that part. So you saw it, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I wish I could see the video, because I want to explain more to you guys. I mean, I guess I can go ahead and explain um, the living room and the kitchen thought process. Um, I, ooh, okay, so I wanted to do something kind of cool for uh, the kitchen area to kind of, like, separate the kitchen and, like, that little hallway. Because I thought it was, like, a bit just too open. I didn't want it to be too, too open where it just looks like just a bunch of empty space. Uh, I wanted it to look open enough to where it's still, um, it still looks furnished and it still looks more homey-like and not too, too open and too much space, like too much unused space is what I'm trying to say. So what I did was I just like put like a wall on the side where the kitchen, kitchen was in the hallway and then I had just like took out. Well, not took out, but I made, like, um, what, are, what are those walls? Those half walls in the middle of it. And then I just, like, took one of those bowling night kind of 
I don't even know what you call that. It's like it's in the decorations um, slot, so I don't know what you call it, but like it's it's from bowling night stuff. Um, so I just put that up there. I mean, I think you see it. I don't know, but if you see it, that's what I'm talking about. So I just put that up there just to make it look nice, like it was like this built-in kind of design. Um, because like I said, I wanted to make it look new and updated and modern. So that really made it, they made the kitchen look very modern. Plus I used modern um, tiling in the floor, I mean in the kitchen, and I used it the same tiling in the bathrooms. Um, the tiling that I'm using right now that you see on there changes. Um, it changes to a more darker, like a more darker one. I think it's from Spa Day. Um, I actually like that tile much better because it looks much more nicer in the game. And plus it looked much more nicer with that flooring that I had chose that that comes from Get Famous. Um, I don't really see many people using that floorboard, so I thought maybe it would be pretty cool to use that kind of floorboards, especially in this kind of house, because it fitted. Um, because, I mean, me, myself, I don't like that kind of floorboards because it looks too gray for me, and it looks too just washed. Like, I don't know, it just, it looks too kind of, like, old-looking, but... I don't know, I think I really liked it and how it made this house have its, like, own characteristic and how it made it look. So, in the end, I kept it, and it looks really nice. Um, especially, like, when I put furniture in and added some colors. Um, so I tried to have, like, a little fun with the colors in this house since, um, everything is really kind of, like, uh, more like the grayish kind of neutral kind of tones, like, gray and kind of black and white. Um, so I tried to add some color on, like, the walls and a little bit in, like, the, the, um, the rugs and, you know, like, light fixtures. So I tried to add some color in to kind of give the house a little color and not make it look too dull. Um, because, you know, when you have a modern house, it's, it's easy to make it look dull, kind of, uh, because it's so many, like, neutral colors in there for it to be modern. And then, you, you know, you always want to add, like, a pop of color somewhere, whether it's, like, a plant or whether it's like a rug that's giving off color, um, or like a wall, like a backsplash or something. I don't know, like, you just always have some kind of color in there to kind of make it look more bright and just make everything come together, basically. <laughs> and so for the rooms, um, I think the first room I did was the child's room, the daughter's room. So yeah, I think that was the first room I did. Um, so with her room, her room was very easy to do. Uh, all I had to do was, like, place a bed and, like, find, like, a cute color swatch on that bed and just basically just start, um, you know, forming around that. Like, just having that color and that's in that bed and it just start to, like, form it around in the rest of the room. Um, so the colors I ended out with was, like, yellow and I think blue. Yeah, I think it was, like, yellow and blue, but they're, it's very pastel in that room because, um... As her, as her character, like, who she is, the daughter, she's very girly, um, she likes ballet, uh, she also is, like, a person who really likes having friends over, so I also put, like, two, like, um, uh, not sleeping bags, what are, what are, what are those called? They're, like, um, I can't remember what they're called, oh my god, they're, like, it came from movie movie night hangout stuff. Um, it's like a sleeping bag chair, I guess. I don't know. It's like a it's a bag chair. I don't know what to call it. Oh my god. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys do know what to call it, but it's like one of those chair thingies that you sit on the floor. And um, I just thought maybe like her friends would come over and you know she can pull them out out of the corner, and then, like, they can sit, chat, do whatever girly kind of things, paint their nails or something, I don't know, <laughs> do whatever kind of girly things that they want, and, um, yeah, I added in, like, a, a desk in her room with a computer, and just made her room look very girly and very just fit for a child of her age, um, so, yeah, that was her room, and then we, I think I did the son's room next, um, so with his room, I was trying to make it very, like, game-like, like a, like a boy who plays games, because, I mean, that's what he does, he plays games, um, his favorite game is actually Fortnite at the moment, um, so I think we're, if we're not already in there, um, or if we've already moved from that room, 
Um, I was putting up a bunch of um, action figures because he does like action figures, so I thought that was a cool idea to like size up the action figures and put them on the the shelf above his computer, above his like computer area. I thought it looked really nice. Um, and then I had put like the llama that you see from uh, Fortnite. I put like that llama thing, uh, cause my brother he he also has that llama uh, stuffed animal thing. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool to put that up there. Um, and then for like the parents room, um, I basically just made it kind of just parents room. <laughs> I don't really know how to do parents room. I just make them as though if they're like, just like a normal master bedroom and then you just like fix it to however you would like it. I don't know really, but I thought it looked, turned out pretty cool and I didn't think it looked it too old like or traditional so I tried to make it as modern as possible by giving it some um, light colors in there to lighten it up because you don't want to put dark colors so and then you're gonna like have the room look dark and everything and then it's gonna look kind of old and washed out but I put like some light some blue like a light blue on the walls so it can make it more open and more colorful and everything and oh my gosh okay <laughs> We're getting close to the end now, guys. Uh, I've been talking, and I haven't really realized that it's pretty much almost close to the end where we're going to hit the screenshots. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you did. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, share this video if you like. And guys, I will all see you tomorrow in my next video at 4 p.m. Central Time. So guys, I can't wait. Bye, guys.